How are you guys? Hope you're doing well. We're just going to do another video and it's again on one point perspective. And um, so what you'll need is a sheet of paper and two pencils. So in this case, again, I'm going to use two different um, mediums. It's actually going to be a dark pencil, which is a 6B, which is quite dark. And I'm going to use a black pen. And that's again, the reason is because it's easier to see in the video what I'm doing. In your case, just use a, a light pencil just to get started, to get the, to draw out everything, to get it all mapped out. When you're happy with that, then you go in with the darker pencil. In this case, it's going to be a pen. So we're going to keep to the same um, technique, te same steps that we have used in the past lesson. So again, what you do is get the light pencil and we're going to get a horizon. The horizon is a line that goes from left to right. It cuts the page in half. So we're going to go and I want you to do again to use your free hand, which means don't try not to use a straight edge. Just try to use your eye and your hand to get more confidence. You build up the skill. So I'm going to go say around half, half the page and let's go a line right across. You can do it a few times to get a kind of as even as you can, it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so that's the horizon line because it's going horizontal. Then what we're going to do is we're going to pick a line, sorry, pick a point in the center of the page, which is going to be the vanishing point. This vanishing point, like we have said in the past, it's only an imaginary line. It's just so you can, it's a, it's a, it's a technique to get the lines coming from it to give you the feel that it's in a distance. So what we're going to do is, but instead of using the actual vanishing point, we're just going to go either left and right. I'll mark, map it down, it's fine because it's only a light, pen, a light uh, mark. And I'm going to draw a line coming from that and I add an angle. So from the left one, just draw a line straight out. And again from the right, straight down. Okay, so then what we're going to do is I'm going to get um, from the vanishing point, which is the center point, I'm going to draw a line going up and out. So it's going to go up like that. And I'll just do two of them. Okay. So right, so then the next thing is, well, from the, the line we've drawn at the very start, the line to the left, from that point, draw another line coming out. So it's going to be just coming convergent, say convergent from it. And again, from the one on the right, draw a line coming out as well. Doesn't have to be perfect. So I'll just, I'll just kind of shade this in. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is on this line, I'm going to put a telegraph pole. So all I'm going to do is draw a line straight up and I do three of them. So I'm going to pick the first one. It's going to go from the bottom, from this line here up to say this line here. Straight as you can. Don't have to be perfect. Again, a bit further down on this line and it's going to hit up here, hit this line here. It's going to appear bigger because it's closer to you. So again, just draw a line going from there to there. And then a last, the last one there is going to be the biggest one. So it's going to go from this, the same line, just higher up, and the, the this line here, the lower down. It's going to again look bigger because it's closer to you. There. So you get the idea. And on this line that we created, what we're going to do is we're going to have a horizontal line coming out. A little bit bigger each time. Again, the reason is, is it's going to appear bigger because it's closer to you. Okay, so I'm just going to start filling this in. So a little little uh, rectangle. Same down here. I'm just going to fill out these. Probably should look smaller. Um, fill out these poles. Give it a, give it a base as well. And again, a bit thicker than the one closer to you. Okay. Do you know what? In the, I'll just put one in the in the in the distance, and if to put one even further away, what you do is the same technique. It's getting smaller as it gets further away from you. We'll do a smaller one in the pat in the back. We're gonna meet that line and same deal. What I'll do, I'll connect these together by doing a little kind of arky kind of the same deal here. And what I'll do is I'll do one out of, out of the frame there as well. 
So it looks like there's going to be another pole here that we haven't got in our in our picture because it's out of uh, view. And then what I'll do, I'll just keep it simple then. Um, I'll just darken this in. And then I'll say I'll just break them into little kind of patches of fields. So just horizontal lines. And I'll just do, say, just do a little excess just, just, just to give it a feeling that it's grass. So I'll do the same there. The grass here is going to look up here bigger because it's closer. Same premise, same idea. It seems small. You can you can add color to this um, and just say different like a yellow, green, and a red or whatever else to give it a bit of vibrancy. Again, these videos just don't have time to add color. Just give you the steps to to create these kind of um, settings. Um, I'll put a mountain in the background shirt. Whichever. Have one in the one there, one in the background, so it starts off here. And one off here. And what you can do is have them again different colours. I'll just have this pretty I'll just shade it in just very lightly, just to see the idea. So that's uh, I'll do a different tone so you know it's you know it's not part of the um, electrical pole. There, and one thing I'll do is I'll actually add a shadow on this. The shadow is going to be, because the sun's over here, I'm going to make it look like that by putting in a shadow. What we'll do is get the bottom of the pole and just draw a line coming out from it. Same angle, same angle on each one of them. Or close to it. So the same deal is I'm going to put a You can start darkening things. There. Obviously then you can start adding in things. I'll just kind of darken in parts of it. You get the idea though. It's simple steps. Same steps that we're using in the um, previous lesson with the, with the boxes. Drawing lines coming from the vanishing point. In this case, we actually use the vanishing point just to have it uh, to have the lines coming from beside it, which is fine as well. There, so that's the vanishing point. VP, the horizon. That means horizon. I always remember it as horizon. It's horizontal. here and then you have the mountains in the background and then you can have the road lines if you liked as well same deal the closer the air the bigger it's going to appear there so give it a go uh, add your own little details into it like the, i kept the very basic on here on the left you can put little uh little benches if you liked if you, like, these are things you can add into it. I'm just giving you the, the basic steps. Say so, like just a little bench. Just so you can sit down when you're walking this boring looking road. And again, just enjoy it. Kind of like play around with it. Try to fit things, different things in. And we can build upon it the next time. We can start adding buildings in and stuff like this and cars and people. But use the same steps and yeah, keep on using the, the other technique we used before, the one the boxes. And start adding it in. You can start adding in your boxes in here as well. And I'll go through that again in uh, the next lesson and we'll just build up your kind, of, your kind of confidence in the drawing. But yeah, again, guys, just enjoy it and play around with it. And I'm sure here we'll talk to you soon. Keep yourself busy. All right, talk to you later.